Good morning. I am going to apologize in advance. I'm going to do my best with this video, but I think the data speaks for itself. Uh, my first red recovery, 33%. And I've, <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Um, my the thing is, yesterday I did a my first ever VO2 max test, and it went really well, really well. And I want to talk about that, and then I want to talk about like what I think about it, um, and some things that I've been thinking about that are interesting. So, the VO2 max test, I. If you've never done one, which was me until yesterday at 2 p.m., <laughs> I I literally had like I've seen photos of like people with the the mask on on a treadmill. Treadmill. That's literally it. I did no other research, so I pretty much had no idea what I was getting myself into. I knew that I was gonna you know have to push myself basically to the to the max, um, but. Uh, I got there and it's this like performance training center. They cater to, to like uh, bikes, they do like bike fitting um, and they do a lot of like performance assessments for performance athletes. And as I was going through like the questionnaire, uh, there's a like pre-questionnaire and then another questionnaire. Uh, when I got there filling out um, uh, information and there were questions that were like oh like what you know well what event do you train for like you train for a triathlon or like a, a ultra marathon 100 miles like <laughs> and I'm going through the list and I'm like uh, no 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 and and I put I, I had to select other <laughs> and I was just like I just do uh, weight training and like run a couple times a week, <laughs> um, and that was that was generally the feeling as I got there. Um, it was kind of funny. They were he was uh, very accommodating um, and treated me, you know, very professionally. Um, so I didn't feel like I was a, you know whatever <laughs> I felt like I was supposed to be there basically but I didn't feel like I was supposed to be there because um, he was like yeah we we train a lot of like high performance athletes um, and so I thought that was really funny um, and then the actual test we did two tests uh, sub maximal and the uh, ramp up Something like that. Uh, the first one, warm up, 10 minutes on the treadmill, nice, easy, light pace. And then um, the sub maximal, this, it's basically just like interval um, training. And um, the other thing about not feeling like I should be there, um, he had a tough try, tough time trying to get like a baseline for what like time what speeds to select for me because um, they like they ramp up the speeds uh, and I, I just like I haven't I haven't like run hard in like a long time so I just pulled like my personal best time from Strava for a 5k the five they asked for a 5k time <laughs> and i was like i haven't run a 5k in like ever <laughs> um, so i just pulled some times and i i pulled a my personal best 5k was uh 30 minutes something and in the before before as we were chatting he was like is this really your your uh, 5k time and I was like listen 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 <laughs> um, you know I just I just like run 
to, to be active. Um, and so that particular 5K, it was like the first, the first half of it was like nice and easy, just light jog. And then the second half of it, I kind of ran faster. Um, so anyway, like I said, I just thought it was funny. He was very professional and treated me, you know, with respect. Um, but anyway, he figured out a, where, where to start me. And then after the late 10 minute uh, jog, he put me at, I forget what pace, but I think it was eight kilometers per hour. And then I ran for four minutes at that speed. And then after the four minutes, brought it down to a walk, took a finger prick to get, um, I think, blood glucose, or it might have been something else, to get um, blood measurement. And then I did a qualitative, like a one to 10, how hard uh, was I pushing myself? And so, and then we went up in increments of 0.8 kilometers per hour. So eight, then 8.8, .8, then whatever, 9.6. And then went up, I think we did five rounds. And the last one was, the last one was tough. Um, got up to, I think it was 12 kilometers per hour. Um, and then, so that was, that was tough. And then I took a 15 minute break and then did the ramp up, which is, this is the number that just like, or this is the test that just like gives you your VO2 max, just like as a number. Um, whereas the other one gives you like a whole bunch more data about like ranges and zones and stuff like that. And so this one, they started me out at eight, nine, eight point, nine point six, eight 8.6, something like that, uh, kilometers per hour. And then the idea was to just basically run until you can't, can't run anymore. And every minute, so they, it's a set speed, whatever, 9.6, 8 point, whatever. And um, every minute they, they increase the grade of the treadmill. And so like the grade is going up every minute and you're, you're running at the same speed. And so you just basically have to run until you can't run anymore. <laughs> um, and that was really good. He was like, like casually before, he was like, yeah, most, most um, people run between like eight and 12 minutes or it, it usually takes between eight and 12 minutes. And like, it obviously depends on what speed they select for you. But my goal, okay, I knew it was all mental. And so my goal was just like beat eight to 12 minutes, beat eight to 12 minutes. Well, um, and I made it to just under 15, just under 15 minutes. And I feel very uh, happy with my result. Well not my, my performance because um, like I said I haven't pushed my body like that in years and so I knew it was all mental and going into that I was like you know just quiet the mind basically and and so I ran until there's a particular change. There's a particular feeling I felt. It was like, you know, everything was sore. Everything was tight and tired. And I could, you know, I could hear the, I could hear the voice in my head going, ah, oh, like, ah, oh, just stop, just stop, it's okay. Um, and I kept pushing through until like that last basically 45 seconds. There was a particular feeling when like I brought my leg, I brought my leg up and there was a, a certain amount of spring that I got with each normal, uh, 
you know, stride. But this last 45 seconds, I would push off with my leg and like the muscles just started failing. And like, and, and I, could, I could feel, you know, I don't know how to describe it, but like I had to like pick up and like carry my leg because like my muscles were just s ceasing to fire basically. And it was, it was that. I tried to push through that as much as I could that last like 45 seconds and then I and then I called it so I felt like I gave it my all which I'm very proud of and so that that is the vo2 max test um, two stages and then they give you this whole like huge comprehensive report with all these like metrics and and data and ranges and zones and stuff like that we went through it um, and i don't know i don't know if i should or share should or want to share my results but i think i'll just keep it at i'm very happy with the results and I am a lot more fit than I was expecting. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I had this particular thought as I was running, cause like, like I said, I haven't pushed my body like this in years, like many years. And, and if I have it, you know, it wasn't to this, level of exhaustion or speed and as I was running I had this thought that was like like I'm doing really well and and I'm very fit and it feels like like the analogy to use a like a car or a vehicle. Like I feel like I'm I'm sitting in a sports car, but I just don't use it. And that was an interesting thought to think about. Because you know, I I weight train a couple times a week. I do a light jog every once in a while. And I just had this like vision of of having a sports car, but like you only ever take it to work and you only ever drive it in rush hour traffic and like stop and go. And it's like you have this human body. And I think this applies to more than just me. It's just like we all have this human body that is capable of so much, so much. And for me, I just like sit around all day, basically. You know, I work out, I try to stay active, I walk, I go on runs, but like, I do mostly sitting. And it's just like, man, that feels, I don't know what the right word is, but sad comes to mind. Unfortunate, you know? That we have this, this vessel, and I have this vessel, I just don't use it, you know? So yeah, sorry for the noise. That was one thought I wanted to talk about. The other thing, I was listening and watching to some videos from Chris from 1M on the ride over and on the ride back and basically he was talking about how the importance of maturing, taking on responsibility um, and this particular like 
sorry. It's so I shouldn't have walked this way. It's so loud. Uh, this particular gap in men that's like the late 20s where you just move from particular desires of you know childish things to more mature uh, a more mature life basically I'll leave it at that um, and as I was doing my VO2 max test, I was, and, and on my way there and on my way back, I was just thinking like, you know, it's been interesting to, to observe my preferences and, uh, preferences is probably the right word, change over time. Like I've noticed in the past couple of years, I've, it's been a very slow, like, shift, um, but I've, I've started valuing my health a lot more, what I eat, uh, exercise, staying active despite <laughs> sitting all day, um, and, and I was just thinking, like, you know, in terms of the people that I spend my time with. I was like, you know, like I want to, I want to, I, I don't know how, how else to describe this, but I was just thinking like, I want to be around the type of people who are doing VO2 max tests. It's like, if you asked me three years ago what a VO2 max test is, I would have no idea. <laughs> no idea. No idea. That's okay. But as I valued my health more and I've learned more about the importance and uh, what indicators to look for when I got my whoop um, and started actually tracking my data like <laughs> I I wish I could be a whoop affiliate I, I think I can I think I can put a create my own affiliate link but like I was reading the Whoop subreddit yes the other day, and like, yeah, I am I am very pleased. Like I use it every day, every day, and it changes. It, I use it to change my behavior, which is like. Anyway, Whoop aside, the point being, I'm starting to I, I've started to value my my health metrics and learn more about uh, health metrics, longevity, and testing. And I was just like, you know, in this, in this context of like uh, maturing, you know, becoming a more mature man. And like, you know, he was, he was contrasting like, the, the quote unquote typical of like, you know, people that go out every Saturday night, you know, with the boys and getting a beer, uh, but like every weekend and, you know, Friday night and Saturday night, every weekend. And it's just like, he was saying like, you know, you got to grow up and get to like the next level of life, basically. And I was resonating with that. Like, Yes, yes. I want to be, I want to be spending my time with the people, the type of people who would get a VO2 max test. That was, that was the, the learning, the takeaway that I thought was really interesting. So, anyway, I think I've said everything that I wanted to talk about. Really good experience feeling very tired and very sore um, but that's okay worth it worth it anyway see you tomorrow bye